The next morning, we're back in business. And deeper into the forest, the professor and I soon discover a sign that the bees are definitely close. Oh, look, 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 look. Look, look at that bird right there. Wow, what a beautiful animal. How close can we get? Are we OK? OK. Let's see. Let's get a little bit closer. What is that? Honey buzz. Oh, that's a honey buzz. Yeah. Alongside hummingbirds, birds of prey are my favorite birds. They're just so majestic, so regal looking. The oriental honey buzzard is called a specialist feeder because it eats only the larvae of bees and wasps. It's a great chance for us to be able to see this. Oh, yeah? Yeah. So why do you think it's sat so low? Why are we able to get so close to this bird? Chances are there could be a giant honeybees around. Oh, really? Yeah. And, and what, it's possibly s spotted them and it's just waiting? Usually when they found a nest, they will perch somewhere in readiness looking for attack. Humans have to be very careful around the honey buzzard because its unique diet demands a truly unique style of hunting. Essentially, the honey buzzard will observe a giant honeybee's nest and then wait for a larger animal to walk by, and then it will fly towards the honeybee's nest, bang into it, drop all the honeybees down onto the floor, and then the honey buzzard will fly towards that larger animal in the hope that the honeybees will swarm all over that animal. The honey buzzard will double back around and raid the brood whilst the honeybees are busy stinging that larger animal. Very, very smart, sophisticated behavior. I remember there was this one time I was with my graduate student. There is four, three, four nests about ten feet from the ground. So we were wondering what what the hell is going on here. And suddenly a honey buzzard flew past our head, dive and boom hit the nest, and both of the of us being chased by the bees. Did you get stung? Yes, indeed, scores of them. Yes. I <laughs> got we both of us got stung, and but we got a win. Yeah. All over your back, more than anything. All over the back. And, and, and my head too, and we ran into our, our van, and when we drove away a little bit, then the honey buzzard came and just start predating on the brood. But as a professor studying the giant honeybee, it must have been just fascinating for you to observe that behavior. Yes, you never thought they are that intelligent to make a professor look stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. All in the name of science, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> if this bird of prey is here, and there's giant honeybees here, and possibly it's thinking about using us as a decoy. So we need to be quite careful. <laughs> we have both good potentials to become the victim. <laughs> <laughs> well, should we see if we can uh, leave and not have a bunch of honeybees come down well, on us? We have to walk quietly. OK. <laughs> we have to go silently. You first. Don't fly, little honey buzzard. <laughs>